Hey y'all, welcome back to the Rye Robo Dude channel. So I know my intentions were good to get this thing completed on today, Wednesday, um, to get more done, but it just beat me up yesterday. And I, I lifting all that, these heavy, oh, anyway, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm on a hormone blocker for cancer treatments and um, I just don't build muscle anymore. And apparently, because I'm, you know, losing my muscle and everything seems to be just a little bit more difficult. And, uh, but I keep trucking along, you know, and the chemo makes me weak. So, but I'm still going for it, y'all. <laughs> um, I have a detail tomorrow for Memorial Day or Veterans Day, rather. So, and it's going to rain. Um, my objective right now is just to get all of my tools put away and get the leaf blower out and blow some of these leaves out into the field. And if it's still light, um, I will do a little mowing and mulch these things up a bit. Well, let's see how the, it's like 2.30, but it's, the sun's already behind the trees over there. And I got to play with my dog a little bit, too. And, you know, I'm just tired. Anyhow, later. Tools have been unloaded and uh, now I'm going to load up the blower. Oh, I kept this stuff because I think I can make signs, little outdoor signs on the CNC later when I get a wood shop going. No sense in wasting it. But I got a lot of leaves to blow out. Try and take care of this before it rains because they're going to stick everywhere if I don't. Just be a nasty mess. So I'll start with the driveway. How about that? Okay, so Chris, Chris and I have been waiting. I got this Stargate machine for my birthday for, I think it was my birthday for, from Judy about 30 years ago, I guess. And it didn't run. And so I sent all the boards off to a guy and had to wait in his queue for four months. And then finally he fixed it and got it back to me and it had some issues and you know, like that, so. Now, the moment of truth. And there it is. It's up and running. Thank God. I don't hear anything though, but hey man. Well, here we go. Well, I got mowed. I, get, I blew all the leaves into the middle and then her away from the trees and whatever and this was all cleaned up yesterday last night and all of this fell last night you know just got to get a grip on it i mean leaves suck i hate this part but i'd much rather see a couple leaves on the trees than all this stuff bare like winter time kind of depresses people a little bit I know it does me. Anyway, I have a detail that I need to go to today. It's a veterans parade, and providing security, I guess. And uh, so like that. Trip number nine or 10, I guess. Not sure which, but I'm waiting for the forklift to finish with some drywall so they can take it outside and 
get me some two by or some six by sixes. Here we go again. Oh my God, I'm tired. Better living by Sawzall, for sure. easier I got these bolts they're replacements for old school lag bolts they're supposed to be stronger they replace what does it say um, I know it says it somewhere uh, eliminates pre-drilling for exterior code listed screw covered well anyway they replace like a much larger lag bolt i got the hole dug um chris still has a couple hours left at rescue squad i put my tools away pretty much it it's cold out here it's probably getting into the 30s right now and uh thank goodness for chris he's gonna come by after rescue squad and get these things out of my truck for me. I about had a hernia, um, just even sliding it back four inches. But uh, anyway, I'll get one stood up in the hole. I may not get it plumbed out, but at least I can get it in the hole. And I don't know where this hole is yet. I have to wait till the other post is in so I can pull up a real square off of it make sure I don't screw this up but that that's gonna be a pretty good size laundry room walk-in closet it's I got six feet that way and I don't know about eight feet this way so stand by for that so as you can see we had a hard freeze last night and uh, what you're hearing is the frost on the on the on the trees falling off on the metal roof. Oh, and the frozen little stems and stuff. Man, they're everywhere. The leaves are falling like rocks too. Anyway, um, good morning. Stay, Tesla. Come here. You want breakfast? Yeah, I know you do. Yes, good girl. Okay. All right, we're going to feed you. You hungry? Yeah, I know you are. Makes it easier for her to wolf it down. Hey, oh, you know the drill. You're such a good girl. Okay. Good girl. Well, I guess I screwed that up. I didn't get Chris moving, Chris and I moving this post over here, but it's all plumbed up to the string line. So now the trick is, is to get this one completely perfectly aligned with those two posts and even at the top even at the top on this one so i guess i'm ready for chris he's over working on one of his crown vicks i'll wait for him all right big man <laughs> These things are heavy, man. All right. All right. Concrete's in. It's only about a, uh, it's about a three sixteenths off of where it needs to be, but um, they're square to one another. 
and uh, they're actually, if you can see that, they are perfectly lined up and they're actually exactly the same distance from that ledger at the top. So my roof cuts can all be identical. Trip 10, I think, might be nine. Eh, you know, trying a different store. It looks pretty nice here. A lot better than the ones I've been going to. Let's see, maybe I'll get some plywood too. Tuesday morning and uh, 56 degrees, 72 this afternoon. Couldn't ask for a better day. And I'll try and get this framed out and finished for the flooring. Well, I used more 2x8s than I thought I was going to. Um, I needed one for a ledger there. And I've got one that's just, I don't know why I picked it. Probably because I was tired of lifting lumber. But it's full of knots. And um, so I'm going to return that one, swap it out. And I need 2x6s. So there you have it. All right, trip number 11 to the big box store. All right, my 11th trip to Lowe's paid off. I got my joists in. They all have hangers, exterior screws, and uh, yeah. So one of the downfalls of, you know, designing in your head, basically without papers or plans or anything, you know, I mean you change your mind. So I've changed my mind many times on this thing, but uh, I think I'm going to sheet the whole thing and then I'll just build a platform. I was going to frame in a platform and then sheet the platform and then sheet, but I think I'm going to sheet the whole thing and that way I can get a platform and maybe as Chris suggested, put a drawer underneath it or so if it's framed all the way over, I mean, if it's uh, sheeted all the way over, then that's that's what I need to do. So I guess I need to put some blocks in here for my plywood. So those lines that I just did, I can forget about. And uh, yeah, so, you know, but this is what I enjoy. I enjoy building and creating and, and just looking at it and going, Hmm, you know what would look really good? And that's why my projects get out of control sometimes is because, oh, uh, you know, like, oh man, yeah, it might be expensive, but it sure is going to be cool. That's part of my downfall, but it also makes beautiful things, you know, although this thing is, you know, old, old, God, it must be. 16 years old or something but you know i mean it's still holding together and uh well for the most part and it still looks good especially when it's got flowers all over it and it's all cleaned up and anyway all right onward and sideways the framing's done i've got everything uh blocks and everything so a sheet will go here i just got to trim this edge and then a scrap have to trim one of those panels I wish I had sawhorses. Um, sawhorses are occupied right now. But, uh, okay, so this is what I did. Just came in with a 2 by 6 on this side, and everything's copacetic. I do have some brackets I could put on here, but I got a lot of screws in them. A lot. All the way down. All the way, about every... 10 inches or so it, it ought to hold anywho okay waiting for chris thank goodness for chris he's gonna drop what he's doing and head this way and help me move a piece of plywood or a couple because i just don't have the strength to move them can't do it anymore and they're wet and they're heavy and so i'm just patiently awaiting Chris is trying out the screw gun. He likes it, but he's gonna see how it affects the back after a while. Bent over, he's a monster of a guy, so he's bent over a lot farther than I am. <laughs> 